Hey, what's up? It's Tuesday, April 12th, 2022. Welcome to Reflections and Encouragement with Mike Brown. I'm Mike Brown. For those tuning in for the first time, uh, this is the show in which I try to reflect on the things that have transpired within the past few days, weeks, months, and then also try to find some words of encouragement as we all approach the days, weeks, and months ahead. For those tuning in again, thank you for continuously watching and supporting the show, and I hope it's in some way encouraging to you. Uh, I, I call this particular segment, I called it setbacks uh, and setups because it's been a month almost since I recorded the last my last reflection and it's just weird I don't know uh, it's, it's, it's for some reason I haven't hit record I think I said it before but I'll say it again I hate talking to the camera like this it's just not my thing but I was talking to a guy yesterday who just uh, he encouraged me to and we were just talking about just doing what we do because we just never know uh, who is going to impact and how it's going to help someone just do your thing and I'm like you know what I gotta just do my thing and so anyhow I called this show setbacks because back on March 13th 2022 I ended up having a, another seizure and it was a setback because I was this close this close to being three months seizure free my prior seizure before that was on December 17th. And so on March 17th, I would have been three months seizure free. So it was a, a very frustrating time on March 13th when it happened. It was a, an absence seizure. So I was kind of just out for about two minutes. Uh, and I mean, I felt fine after, but it was just very frustrating and disappointing because my clock kind of got reset <clears throat> on that same day ironically is when I recorded the last reflection where Jatan Davis joined me and I thought it was a, a great conversation and so it was a good day <laughs> and and then I had the seizure that night and it was just very frustrating I was I think frustrated was the is the biggest word I was a little down for a minute and then I, I really worked to try to pick myself up because I I know it's all a setup if you will right so I know that some things happen for a reason or many things happen for a reason and I know it's all a setup and so I'm still trying to find that that silver lining <laughs> around so many things that are going on but but I really try to focus on some positive things that are happening and some positive things that are going on in my life and the lives of people around me and then those positive thoughts uh, create some positive energy and then I find a way to move forward and so within the past month it's been difficult but I've kind of found some things that that are positive that that get me through each day so one of the things that happen a few days after my seizure is on March 17th, I ended up announcing a new book uh, that I'm publishing. Uh, co-authored it with my indie cheer teammate, uh, Kara Crin from the class of 04. And then the illustrator is uh, Marin Aragin from the class of 03. And so the book is called The Leprechaun's Game Day at Notre Dame. It's a book we've been working on for a little bit, for quite a while. And it's just been a blessing to see it, to see it, you know, come to life. But we publicly announced it on March 17th. And that was just a, a great, a great time kind of bringing, announcing that to, to the world, if you will. So check it out if you can. Solster.co slash Lep Game Day. But that happened. I was able to line up a couple of interviews on WNDU. They were kind enough to have me on to talk about the book, talk about my, my leprechaun experience, which was great. 
And then so many other things have transpired, right, that have been just good over the last several weeks. Uh, a lot of fun times with my wife, my daughter, and a lot of good things happening at work. And just a lot of positive things. But the, the net of it is, while March 13th was a setback, I really try to find ways to look at it all as a as a setup. I don't really know what's to come. I don't know what's to head, but I just look at it as a setup. And as I was running this morning, there's a song that came on, classic gospel song that I that I grew up on. It's called I, I Won't Complain. And that, that really resonated with me and helped uh, push me to record this message as well because I thought about how there are setbacks that lead to setups that are all setups. But at the end of the day, you know, I realize God's been good to me. And as the song says, I won't complain. So I hope you all have a great rest of the, the day. Great few days ahead, months ahead. Easter's coming up around the corner. So enjoy. Take care. God bless.